Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video we'll tell you how the cast of 1955's Gunsmoke has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1955 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were in this TV series. Alright, let's go! Milburn Stone in the TV series he played Doc, a self-interested and slightly dark character with the hobby that constantly tries to increase his revenue through collecting autopsy fees. In 1955, he was 51 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on June 14, 1980, at the age of 75. All right. Somebody's got to walk with you. It might as well be me. James Arness in the TV series he played Matt Dillon, a lonely, isolated man suffering from harsh and difficult time. In 1955, he was 32 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away of natural causes at the age of 88 on June the 3rd, 2011. Temper's high. A man will draw his gun quicker to prove a point than he'll draw on his logic. That's where I come in. Whether they like it or not. But done in such a... Uh a callous way, you know, they didn't even have the courtesy to call him up and tell him, you know. So he was ready to fight right there. He's Ken Curtis in the TV series, he plays Festers. In 1959, he was 43 years old, and it was with great sadness that Curtis died on April 28, 1991, at the age of 74 in his sleep from a heart attack in Fresno, California. Well, when I seen that them there waters wasn't gonna open up for me and, and them fellers a nipping at my boot heels about to catch up with me, I seen this old hemp. Bonnie and Clyde and baby boy, baby face Nelson, whatever his name was, I've forgotten, but there were quite a, quite a few. Amanda Blake in the TV series she plays Kitty, Matt Dillon's ex-girlfriend and widow of a criminal. In 1955, she was 26 years old, and it was with great sadness that on August 16, 1989, Blake died of liver failure due to viral hepatitis at the age of 60. Go out until Doc says. I hear Grat killed Frank Scarth. Yes, he, he slapped him and then... <laughs> <laughs> Buck Taylor in the TV series he played Newly. In 1967, he was 29 years old, and now he's 84 years old. Relax your throat. Relax. At a young age, and met my mother there, who was a dancer, and uh, they got married. And then, you know, vaudeville, it... Dennis Weaver in the TV series he plays Chester. In 1955, he was 31 years old, and sadly Weaver passed away from complications of prostate cancer at his home in Ridgeway, Colorado, on February 24th, 2006, at the age of 81. Well, Major Holcomb kept me waiting for close to three hours. Why didn't you leave the wanted posters with the first sergeant? Well, you told me to leave them with the Major. Read for Matt Dillon? Uh, he said, no, no, I want you to read for Chester. So I thought I would correct the- I would use all of my actors to- Burt Reynolds in the TV series he played Quint. In 1962, he was 26 years old, and it was with great sadness that Reynolds died of a heart attack on September 6, 2018 at the age of 82. You better get out of here. Oh, you're giving orders too, huh? And the director went- just read this first line here, God boy, and he went, and he looked over at me like, oh, I'm gonna get this. Ted Jordan in the TV series he played Burke. In 1961, he was 37 years old, and it was with great sadness that he died in March 2005 in Palm Desert, California, at the age of 80. Hey, the sun comes up back. Well, all I'm oh, saying is he was a murderer, a killer of plain soldier bulls. Shut up! Oh, I'm, I'm not talking, talking to you. He was an enemy to this country, Doc. Clear as the hands on your wrist. Roger Ewings in the TV series he plays that. In 1965, he was 23 years old, and now he's 80 years old. You got the advantage of me, stranger. 
Aren't you Stretch Morgan of the Carroll County Morgans up in Oklahoma? Yeah, that's right, but uh, I can't quite put a handle on you. Well, I'm Thaddeus Green. James Nasser in the TV series he plays Louis Feeders. In 1956, he was 51 years old. And it was with great sadness that Nasser died in June 1979 in Los Angeles, California at the age of 74. I'm sick, Eric. If I've had these spells before, if I could just have a swallow of whiskey. Glenn Strange in the TV series he plays Sam. In 1961, he was 62 years old, and it was with great sadness that on September 20th, 1973, at the age of 74, Strange died of lung cancer in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.